Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I hope all your temperatures have calmed down a lot now that all the wheels have basically been revealed and we are all starting to see what is likely to be presented to the public. With the exception of the S20, all other wheels are basically ready for shipment. Some have already received their commanders and the Abrams is next on the horizon. But the Abrams, despite its weight, is extremely well built. Dipperkim has done an amazing job demonstrating the level of quality of products they're willing to put out. Now, at the moment, there's no other EUC company putting out this quality build. But there are still questions like why did Lipperkim decide on such a small battery for a wheel that's about 30 pounds more than the Sherman and much taller as well. We spent about one hour discussing the Abrams and the Commander on my last live with Hafiz, the co-founder of E-Rides, but I will try to compress this video. So here are a few highlights of what we discussed. Uh, explain to me the braking power, um, you know, with the commander. Uh, th that's the speed and the torque. All right. So um, the braking power, as you expect from a, the torque with that, it's just obvious because it's got more magnets. I mean, thicker magnets, right? So C38 versus C C30. Um, however, and I know obviously we spoke in private before this, the the braking power of um of both can be improved by changing the riding mode so we ride in medium or soft i'm mainly riding in medium because with the medium mode when you brake or accelerate it gives you a little bit of that lean so there is a, there's less resistance um on the pedal so when you brake there's a little bit of a, a lean from the pedal so you can you can literally dig in your heels and you can crank it back even more whereas with hard mode is straight and how does it really compare to the sherman um in terms of acceleration torque in general is you can feel that it's slightly better than the sherman it's you know it's, it is noticeable it's not fastly noticeable but you can feel it um that it feels a little bit lighter than the sherman once you start once you start moving with it and i remember what i told you as well that torque makes wheels feel lighter because it's this in once you get that initial torque it, it makes them the wheel moves yeah. quicker but in terms so, of braking in terms of braking though yeah um they're not they're not the best both of them are not really that good at braking but in terms of braking i'll still say that the commander speed is slightly bit better than the sherman at braking again if you put both of them in, in medium mode, your braking or soft mode, your braking will vastly improve compared to hard mode. But what do you think? Yeah, hard mode is definitely harder to brake. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's more harder. You need to really, you know, man the beast. You have to yeah. sort of like really put your weight back to do it. But yeah. and then it, it doesn't break that well because it's on hard mode. Somehow the yeah, it's so it's like, it doesn't want to respond to braking. Exactly. Yeah. In hard mode, the, 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 the pedals is trying to stay as straight as it can, right? Whereas if you put in, in medium mode or soft mode, there's a little bit of that lean there and that allows you to kind of dig in your heels and break hard and kind of crank it back even more. Um, I mean, that, that's what we found up here. I mean, we, we, we do have the wheels over here. So as I said, we have, this is the torque one and I've got my, my Sherman seat on top. So, so but what I've kind of, what you need to do over here is put Velcro over here, put Velcro over here as well. You haven't got it now, but I'll put it on later. You should put it on top it does hold it's not perfectly but it is definitely usable so it, it can go on top of the commando and then you can still pop out the handle oh wow that's awesome put it back in yeah um so this is the speed version that one in red and that's the torque version and i mean this would definitely stop quicker than speed yeah but in terms of comparing the speed to the to the sherman the commander is 
in terms of acceleration and torque, you can feel that it's got a little bit more torque than the Sherman. How about maneuverability? Because I know, I know with the with the Sherman, maneuverability was like kind of difficult, especially when you're trying to maneuver quickly in traffic because of that tire. Just change it to a road tire yeah, or, yeah. or Michelin yeah. Pirelli's. They, that will vastly improve the maneuverability of, of, of any wheel. This one's come with the same tire that, that the Sherman um, comes with, the Nobby tire, right? Mm -hmm. They're kind of square, right? So you can see it's kind of it's square here, and then all of a sudden it just drops. That's why you get that kind of resistant resistance, and the bang just kind of drops, you know, if you're trying to turn. So it's a little bit, it's not that predictable. Um, the best way to improve maneuverability is just change the tire. Um, I know that Law has done that to his commander speed. And he and even alien ride as well, and that vastly improves the maneuverability. Um, what about the pedals? Um, I know like not many people have mentioned anything about the pedals, but how does that affect the riding a bit right ability of the um of the command? So see this, these shoes I'm wearing. So this is a Liat shoes and it's got a little bit of some grooves in them, right? And this here, if you see the pedals here as well. They have, they've got a little bit of spikes. If you want to improve grip, it also depends on your foot, on your foot um, wear as well. So this works well for me, and that's why I'm, I'm, you always see me in the videos where there's these shoes now. Um, the pedals, the pedals are wide, definitely wider than than, than the veterans. Um, the length is decent. I'm a size eight and a half, going on nine, and that's decently wide for me. You can, I'm not sure you can see it. They're okay, but uh, yeah. when it's wet, they do slip a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I prefer the grip paper oh, yeah. and studs, and that will definitely stop the move, you know, your, your feet moving about when you go on bumps and slippery, you know, the, yeah. But I prefer grip tape and and the studs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so even, even with the studs, this thing slides in the rain? It does because if it's wet, it, you you will feel a little bit slippery. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they they are not sharp. The studs are sort of rounded off, mm. so you can feel your feet moving slightly. See here, it's it's still this this part is still smooth. Yes, yeah, metal. It's it's metal, right? It's not grippy. The only just because it's got studs doesn't mean you still wouldn't like slip. Um, and especially dependent on your footwear as well. So that's why I said that because I've got this footwear that's got a bit of groove underneath that will help but what about this part over here it's still slippery um but again just change the pedals <laughs> <laughs> from my opinion when you get on the sherman you feel that as soon as you get on and start moving you feel the plum of metal under your foot yeah and you can actually feel that metal weight yeah. but on the commander you, you don't get that metal feel it feels uh, a little bit lighter i think i think it's yeah. Yeah, I think it's of course when you're moving, yes, yes, it's lighter definitely because it's tall. But in terms of the width, do you think it's wider? Than it's the same. It's the same. same isn't it's it? the same. Because I, if you look at my video, I put the cover of you know, the two top cover side by side. Yeah, and they look exactly the same. Yeah, same so, width. Yes, they're about the same width. So you you, you won't you, it's not a, you won't feel like wow I'm jumping on a Sherman or I'm jumping on a on on a Commander Torque and it's vastly different um it's, it's it's very comparable in terms of the width it's definitely comparable you probably saw the video from um marty obviously you don't live in you know like crazy temperature like he does i see you're wearing a coat yes uh, so you're not going to experience too much overheating but even so are you guys concerned about that no um there you go no uh not not yet anyway um well, it, the fan kicks in at 40, was it uh, 47? 47. 47 degree it kicks in. Yeah. And the top doesn't make that high pitch noise, but the high speed did. But what I did was, um, I haven't shown the video yet. I opened it up and the fan, I tested it on the bench with a voltmeter and it was actually vibrating. So, um, so it, it wasn't, it was touching the sash, sashes. So that's why it was vibrating and making that loud noise. So once I put the uh, tightening the fan and put something on the chassis so the fan doesn't touch the chassis, then it was nice and quiet. In the hotter countries, that might be different um, for sure, but we, we haven't experienced that. But then again, this is what November in the UK. Yes, it's, it's pretty cold <laughs> down here at the moment. <laughs> you know, Minus it's, two at night. Hey, who do you guys re uh, recommend it for? <laughs> who do we recommend it for? 
Yeah. Uh, if you like Sherman, if you want range and and I guess speed. Well, you want big range. Obviously, this will outrun the. Yeah, yeah. 3, 3, 3, 600, 600, yeah. Hour, yeah. That will last definitely last longer than Sherman. Yes. And um, I don't know. I mean, I, I like the high speed because I just can't get to bib when I ride high speed. Uh, the only way I can get to bib is when I fall off. I, I tell you, but I'm not gonna go that way. <laughs> Okay, well, well, we're not comparing, you know, apples for apples here, right? Because mm -hmm. the Sherman beeps at 70% power uh, usage, right? Mm -hmm. It beeps a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming, because this is more or less a, a big audit from um, where, probably that 80%, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why. Maybe if you're on the Sherman, like here is a little bit earlier. Even saying that, in terms of, because, because the commander has more torque, Get to that speed a bit quicker. Than, it, it, feels than it, feels it feels lighter. It feels lighter. It feels yeah, more yeah, chuckable. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know when you when you get on the wheel mm. and and you want to move and the, and the top picks up and then you can Easy. feel the weight. Yeah. But if you get on the wheel and the top picks it's up straight light. away, the wheel is light. Yeah, it feels lighter, yeah. right? It's, it's a lot more maneuverable. Stop. Oh, nice. Whoa, yeah, that's whoa. Nice. Yeah, that's that. It's nice. I Did saw you see that. the pedal? Did you see the pedal go back a little yeah, bit? I saw that. I saw that. That's that's what medium mode gives you. Woo! Nice. So, and this is a 45 kilogram wheel that's breaking like a commander. Speed. That's beautiful, man. It's it's it just defies logic sometimes because it's massive, but it accelerates. I'm sure you can hear that that motor whine as well. It's got uh -huh. a certain whine to it. It's like it wants to go. <laughs> Maybe add more batteries. Again, I'm just speculating, but it's got less space at the bottom and then it goes to the top. So um, if you open the side, you, you saw it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. batteries are all encased inside. Yeah, yeah inside. Yeah. Which is probably one of the best that we've seen. Yeah. I mean, you know, the other. Plug most, and play, modular. Yeah, plug it's, and play. It's, it's definitely modular. It's plug and play. You get the side, you know, case. You, you plug one in there, you yeah, plug the other one yeah. in there, bish bash bosh, good. But then I guess I said, listen, all of these things you can take, you can remove the tire, right? And yeah. it's changed it to, to something better. Yeah, um, but how is it? How, let me ask Real Talk, Real Talk question first. Appreciate the 199, Mr. Real Talk. Could you explain Abrams' customized motor? Will were, Will were is asking, does the tire look similar to the V3 Monster tire? It looks similar, but it's not the same. No, but, no, it's, no it's, it's, not, not. it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not. So if you look at that, it's absolutely not. Yeah, it's yeah, not. Okay, yeah, it okay. is not. Oh my gosh! Look at this. I'm sorry. Look. These these look really. Oh, so man. you see this, right? So 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 <laughs> listen. Look at this. You try this. This is what I mean. I can ride yeah. the Monster Pro. I can I, I can play with. It looks, looks a little this. wider the Monster Pro, no? Or oh, is it just me? Yeah, the Monster Pro is 45. Well, when I ride it, yeah. I, it's it feels lighter to, to compared to that one. Well, you mean this one feels lighter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so the Abrams feels lighter because of the torque, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You, you could say that, but yeah. it just feels lighter. Yeah. So, hold on. let me take you on a little ride. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Age. And I also realized what you were talking about. The top of the monster is like curved exactly. in. It's like exactly. whereas the Abrams, it's a square, so see it's that? giving you less room okay. to maneuver. That's it, right? See that? See it in my knees. Oh shoot! There you go. <laughs> Yeah, See yeah. That? Wow, good. Wow, that was good. 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 Now do it with the monster. Do it with the monster. Okay. Yeah. Yo! Forget the feel. I, I forget the, the feel. feel on this. Forget the it's feel. Just... How was the maneuverability though? The maneuverability. This I don't. It it doesn't feel balanced. You know, like get on center balance when you ride a heavy wheel. The balance has to be 100%. Yeah. So that doesn't have the balance. So mm -hmm. this is more balance. The apron okay. is more balance. But then again, the monster has a more rounded tire too. So that could possibly be. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's, it's so, more. Uh, that's true. That is true. That is yeah. a good spot. So yeah, yeah, I changed this. Yeah. This is a road tire more, and it's uh, yeah. it's so hard. It's a tubeless tire. So hard. Yeah. I think so it's, it's more. It's, Michelin, it? it's more sensitive as well, you know? There's a lot more that was discussed, so please click the link in the description or the tag above in this video to watch the full live. Also, e -Rides is hosting a wheel demo day on Saturday in the UK. Check out his Facebook. So guys, if you're watching this from the UK, please share your thoughts about this beast that is the Abrams.
it will really help us give more perspective on this machine. No feedback compares to the feedback from real users, so please do share. Till next time, happy riding guys.